Hi, this is Andrea. I'm an Italian photographer. I work in this industry for 20 years now, and I'm currently investigating into all those AI tools from a photographer's perspective, trying to understand how powerful they are, if they can be useful uh, for classic photographers, if you can somehow merge my real photos with those uh, AI generated modifications, and it's quite a stunning world. I would try to show you with very short videos, with clear, concrete examples you can repeat how powerful those AI tools are. And one example is uh, the code I'm showing today because I had a question, how good are those tools to create photographic realistic portray? And among all those examples, I found one that is very impressive and is this one. Here you see the code that you can copy and use on Midjourney. I will walk you through a couple of those examples. As you see, the detail, the shadows, the colors are nearly perfect. And only by close look, you can probably see some errors, artifacts and things you can actually fix via Photoshop. There's nothing here that is wrong at the very basics. So the basics are okay and you can work on it on Photoshop to make it even better. The code contains quite a long list of variables you can change. If you're a photographer, you know exactly what the single points are and you can try to cre create the kind of image you want. One variable I changed was, for example, the age of the person I wanted to have in the script. For now we are moving on to younger women and you here you have a couple of images in this case because the woman here is younger you see that the skin sometimes looks a bit artificial so you can improve it on photoshop but there's a bit more work to do in that case still the portraits are impressive and you think about it those are images you generate in a short time nearly photorealistic and they are gorgeous so i'm impressed and i wonder how this will influence photography in future. This is it for today. Again, subscribe and hit the notification button for my future examples. There are plenty of coming, not only for portrait, but also for landscape, uh, animal, um, product photography and so forth. And that's it as of today and see you soon.